we're going to talk about vitamin D's influence over your muscles. When we think of vitamin D deficiency, we might think of uh, bone strength, calcium absorption, anti-inflammatory. Um, so if you have osteoporosis, for example, um, taking vitamin D can decrease the risk of getting a fracture. Also, vitamin D helps decrease the risk of falling, probably more to do with the strength of the muscle. But the first symptom that happens when you're vitamin D deficient, lower back aches, okay, low back pain. You might get bone pain and also difficulty getting up from a seated position. So there's a huge influence of vitamin D controlling neuromuscular function. But every single muscle cell, it's called a myocyte, has a little receptor for vitamin D, vitamin D receptor. So let's start at the top. Vitamin D helps muscle strength. Whether you're climbing stairs or getting up from a seated position, or you find that you're working out and you just feel weaker, could be your vitamin D. Number two, vitamin D helps stabilize your posture. So if you find that you're slouching too much, you may want to look at vitamin D. All right, number three, the proximal muscles uh, connected to your hip, like the quadricep, that the th that's the thigh muscle on the front part of your leg, the glutes, that's your butt muscle, and the iliopsoas is a muscle that connects the lower part of your legs to your upper part of your body. So these three large muscle groups are highly influenced with vitamin D. So if you're weak in your core, it could be a vitamin D deficiency. Number four, your physical performance can be greatly affected by your vitamin D levels. And I'm going to put a link down below to validate all the things that I'm talking about. Number five, if you're deficient in vitamin D, you could have kind of certain swaying of the body when you're walking, like a waddling back and forth. You've probably seen people like that when they're walking. That's a vitamin D deficiency. It would be interesting to give that person some vitamin D as a before and after to see how that could change. Number six, the speed or the contractibility of the muscles is influenced by vitamin D. So if we're, we're talking about someone who is a, a sprinter, they should be taking enough vitamin D. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.